Hey everyone, this is Mike Johnson. I'd like to welcome you to a quick demonstration of my new plugin, WP Spin, the Best Spinner integrated WordPress plugin. Now, if you're not familiar with the Best Spinner, um, know that it is a very popular, probably the most popular uh, desktop spinning tool on the market. It is a Windows tool that has literally hundreds of thousands of synonyms built by its users in a common database, and it has an API that allows this information to be shared across the web and one of the abilities of that API was integrating it with this particular WordPress plugin that we've had constructed here. Okay, understand that once you install WP Spin, you're going to have an addition to your menu down in the settings area that shows you WP Spin options and the WP Spin scheduler. Okay, and I'm going to get more into that here in a second. But one of the first things you have to do when um, activating this plugin you're going to be asked in the options section here you're going to be asked to log in with your the best spinner login and password which is the reason for it is to unlock an unlimited number of API calls if I use just a singular uh, API for this plugin it would have been limited but due to this arrangement with the creator of the best spinner we've been able to unlock this feature and allow you unlimited use based on your account uh, ownership of this license. All right. So if you're not a the best spinner owner, you are going to have to own the best spinner uh, to activate this plugin. Now, don't be afraid and say, "Well, I'm going to spend a lot of money just to use this plugin." Uh, once you uh, purchase WP Spin, I have a very very special discount link uh, for you to buy the best spinner and uh, be able to access this. And because of that. You're going to find out that uh, the actual cost to this plugin is very, very low just because I've taken this into consideration already. But that's not the important part. The important part here is seeing how WP Spin works and what it can do for you. Right, so let's take a look here. Inside the option settings, you're going to see two very basic options. You're going to see that the ability to do individual post spinning only, uh, which means inside your post editor or page editor you're going to be able to do spinning, all right? Or you can choose to have posts auto spun, which means that you'll access one of the API calls from the best spinner, which allows you to choose the overall quality of the spinning that's going to be done, which means the words that are chosen are going to be either narrow or they're going to be broad, which means that the quality of your articles can either be the best quality, meaning low spinning or high spinning mean, meaning it's going to really spin the articles if you choose good which means the actual quality of your articles itself are probably not going to be that great okay so things you have to take into consideration now some options here when you choose what your quality is going to be of your posts now the next options you have here are whether you want to just spin these articles once for example if you have PLR articles and you've loaded them in and schedule, schedule these to be posted on your blog and once each one of these is posted they will get spun once All right, according to these settings here so you get a more unique article uh, that you're publishing or whatever content you're using it doesn't matter um, you could be posting with uh, WP Robot you could be posting with you know by yourself and just want to spin your articles up because you're also using them for you know promotion somewhere else whatever you want to do all right. The next thing here is you have the option to spin when viewed. It's not an option that I necessarily would recommend uh, for every everyday use, but there are particular uses for it and uh, for auto spinning. And some people ask for it, so I put it in the plugin. Um, the next and most powerful function of auto spinning is being able to schedule actual updates. So you say, well, if I spin an article once, I'm really only using one synonym or or one replacement phrase uh, or sentence for uh, my article to get spun I'm only doing that action once so I'm not taking advantage of all the other words and phrases and sentences that could possibly be swapped out by the best spinner well I can take advantage of this by scheduling actual updates for each individual post and this is just a powerful SEO function that's going to allow you to, you know, give Google that little nudge and let the spider come back to your site and say, wow, this, this content's constantly being updated on this site. In fact, I thought about calling this uh, plugin the uh, 
SEO updater plugin, but because of the integration with the best spinner and the high spinning functions of the plugin, I decided against it. But you can see here I have hours. Now what I highly recommend is actually moving this out to either days, or weeks, or months and you know spinning on and updating on like a six week to eight week schedule uh, where you're, you're giving Google that kind of nudge where you can say, hey, I'm gonna, I want each post to be updated five times and I want them updated every six weeks. And what's gonna happen when you do that is down here in your WP Spin Scheduler, you're gonna see all those updates scheduled. Uh, and you'll get to be able to see each and every one that's scheduled and when it's scheduled to actually go live. And this is a random action for the time of day. So it won't be the same time of day all the time and everything. It's going to be random. Okay. So that is one of the most powerful functions of this. But you can also do this manually, which gives you the ultimate control of of the uh, WP Spin functions and the SEO friendliness of it, being able to use uh unique content. Now even though I chose auto spinning all posts here, I can still do all the manual in post actions that I want to do. I can update content and change anything I want regardless if it's being auto spun or not. Okay, But I can also choose to not auto spin and just choose individual post spinning only. Okay, and now what I've done is I've actually come into the post editor of WordPress and you're going to see here real quickly I'm going to just type in a, a a quick test here and I've got some article content that I'm going to input here into my post editor that I pulled from eZine articles and you're going to see here that um, there's two icons that pop up in the post editor and that is an A icon and an S icon. Now what the A icon does for us is even though I've chosen individual post spinning I can now come in to this portion of my, my post editor, click on A, and you can see I have the same ability to go in here and auto spin my article. I can choose to auto spin it any way, I, the same functions I did from the main settings page. And I can add in more words that I want to exclude for this particular post and, and use that as part of the... Uh, spinning functions for this particular article okay so you can do everything you want to do choose the max number of synonyms synonyms excuse me that you want to use choose your article quality and just go from there so it's just got a uh, all the same options and you can see here you can also spin your titles if that's something that you want to do so I'm going to cancel that and you're going to see here that the S is not highlighted whatsoever now even though um, there's a, a ton of content here, I don't have to choose all the content here to spin it. I can just select a block of text here, and once it's highlighted, you'll see that this icon has now been highlighted itself, and I can click on here, and I can choose to use my spinner actions now. And this is where you can really access that the best spinner uh, database of synonyms. And I can choose here, I want to choose... Uh, two synonyms to be pulled uh, and spin this now once and I click on spin and save and while that makes the API call back to the best spinner you can see now it made the API call and it came back with all these synonyms here for my article and now I can now take this and click on publish and I'll see all that content just as a single post. Now what I could do in, on top of this is go back into my options here and I can choose to, to schedule post updates okay um, by checking my number of synonyms I can now say pick my dates that I want to update this content okay and I can also use the spin when viewed uh, option that I had before where I can just use that spin now once function. Okay, but right now it's just being spun once. I can click on publish. And I'll take a quick look at this post and open this in a new window. You're going to see here 
that this is now posted just like any other post would be posted. Okay? Perfect content written out just like it was written out, but it has been spun as you saw on the page. Okay, I'm going to click out of this and go back here. And note an important portion of this is I can still add in my own I'm copying some of this above here so I don't have to think of my own uh, content. I can add in my own content here to be spun. I can click on update. And let's take a look at that post once again here now. Open this in a new window. You're going to see that area where I created that, that content, that spun, spinner syntax, right there is just showing one word from that particular content. Okay? So you very simply can see how powerful WP Spin is. I could come in here and I could write out two sets of content. I could write this sentence and I could write this sentence out. And, and I could divide it with spinner syntax and choose then post updates in WP Spin, for example. I highlight it and I could say that uh, I chopped this up. I want one of these sentences. Let's just do for example here. I want this to be my initial post. And this to be my secondary post. All right. Now, because I did that, I can uh, highlight this and I can schedule my updates where I could say I only gonna update this post once it's gonna be on the 25th that I want that change to be made so you can see the by using unique content I could create a just rush of Google spider action to my site on a date that I specify with unique content that I wanted to add and not affecting any keywords, not affecting the keyword density of my article, whatever. I can pick and choose the content I want and use WP Spin's power to use it as a post updating SEO engine. All right. Now that's just you know one or two of the possibilities there is with WP Spin. You can choose to do whatever you want. And if you want to quickly see what this quick edition did, I can click update. And I can go and look at the post once again. And you can see how that paragraph is now trimmed down into the sentences that I had picked. I'm sorry, right here. And once I update, that will be changed and you'll have the new content that I had written in. Okay, so there are many, many ways to use WP Spin. It's entirely up to you how you want to use it. All right, that's the end of the demonstration for WP Spin. I hope you liked it and uh, it'll be coming available on January 4th. Take advantage and uh, make sure you're on the list now.